Hi everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. In GitHub Actions, you can use outputs to pass data between jobs or steps within a workflow. Let's understand how to set output in a step and use it in the subsequent steps in a GitHub workflow. Let's create a workflow called step-output.yml. I will name this as uh, step output. And I want to trigger this workflow on push event. Whenever there is a commit to main branch, I want this workflow to be triggered. Then we specify jobs. Let's say I have job one. This runs on uh, Ubuntu hyphen latest. Then we have steps. My first step is going to be set output then I'll run because we are using Ubuntu hyphen latest our shell is going to be bash by default it's bash so you don't have to specify this but uh, I'm just specifying this so that if you use another runner you may choose your shell accordingly in bash we have echo to uh, log anything to the console in case we want to log something to the console we'll simply say echo within double quotes we'll specify the message that we want to log if you want to specify an output first you have to mention the name of the variable let's say I want to output with name age so first I'll specify the name followed by the value of that variable so age equal to 25 my variable name is age and the output value is 23 so if we want to uh, let the github workflow know that this is the output variable we have to make use of dollar github underscore output GitHub underscore output is an environment variable used to set output values from a step and these values can be used in subsequent steps or jobs. In this example, we'll see how this variable can be used in subsequent steps. So I'll create another step name colon access output and here I want to log this output variable. Uh, to the console so echo so where do we have this uh, output variable this is inside steps so uh, let's use the dollar uh, expression here inside this we use steps and inside steps we have will have multiple steps this may not be the first step we might have a few steps before this uh, step so how do we identify that we are trying to access the output from this particular step that can be done using id so i'll put this as set output this is the id which identifies this specific step so inside steps we want a step with id set output and every step will have a set of outputs so using outputs object we can access this particular output because the way, uh, name of our output is h i'm using dot h here let's see what it does let's commit the changes commit if we go to actions go to step output we see the workflow running so first we have set output this is where we set the uh, age output and second we have access output so we used a uh, expression here that expression is now uh, resolved to 23 which is value of age now let's see how to set multiple outputs so if I go to step output dot yml edit so uh, when you have multiple lines of code you use a pipe symbol and go to next line let me copy this variable and put it here I'll say name equals interview pro and let's access these two variables here so let me put a pipe symbol and then echo now I'll add some text here the value of output age is dollar steps output age then we'll copy the same step same uh, code and here we'll 
output name so outputs dot name because we want to print the value of this variable name let me commit the changes commit if we go to actions so we have set output where we set uh, two variables this time and we have access output and we see the values the value of output name is interview pro whereas the value of output age is 23 now let's see how to access this output in multiple steps so previously it was just uh, a single step that has some output and we were accessing those outputs in the same step so uh, we might have other steps in between we can use these variables in any of the steps or in all of the steps so let me create another step uh, this time I'll call this step as set output 2 let's maintain the indentation and I'll name this as a set output 2 ID as set output 2 here let's uh, say salary and the value is 10,000 maybe I'll have only one output here and in this access output I want to access all the previous outputs so we are already accessing outputs from step uh, set output with ID set hyphen output now I want to access the salary output from set output 2 so let me copy and paste the same line of code this time I want to print the value of output salary and this is going to be salary but the ID is going to be set hyphen output too because inside steps we want the step with ID set hyphen output too because this is where salary output is set now let's commit the changes commit changes actions this job is completed we have set output we have set output 2 then we have access output we see all the outputs here not just uh, in one uh, step we can access uh, outputs in multiple steps let's see that use case also so let's say I have uh, another step here Uh, which says uh, access output 2 I can access the variables here uh, let's say I want to access the output of set output in access output step and the values outputs from set output 2 in access output 2 so let's commit the changes go to actions open job 1 we see access output 2 which prints the output from set output 2 if we go back to this workflow so here we used Ubuntu latest and the bash so we are using github underscore output uh, for example if you are using another shell which is powershell it would be pwsh first you have to make sure that the runner has powershell installed if it's not you have to install it explicitly then you can uh, use the shell as pwsh and in powershell you have another syntax called dollar environment colon so this will also work but dollar environment colon is specific to partial in order to access any environment variable in partial we use dollar environment colon so this is how we set outputs and access outputs in github workflow i hope the concept is clear if you like the content please like share and subscribe to interview pro thank you